Hi guys, jasonnon.com and I'm here with the unboxing of the BlackBerry Z10. It has finally reached us and this is the very first handset to run BlackBerry 10 OS. It was unveiled in January, also launched in January and finally it has reached gsmdome.com. The price tag is $199 on contract or $699 off contract. So the inaugural model for the new BlackBerry 10 operating system. It has reached Europe with uh, quite a delay, especially Eastern Europe. This handset has a micro SIM card slot, 9mm in thickness. Let's remove its plasticky covering layers and see what this novelty can bring us. As you can see we got a very elegant design. People have been comparing this model to the HTC One. They've been saying that the HTC One kind of copies its design and I must say that they're not very wrong. Although this model does feel a bit cheaper than the aluminum case on the HTC One. Let's see what else is inside the box. So we've got a very compact box, everything is very well organized. The company formerly known as Research in Motion is now called Blackberry and with a new identity comes a new bunch of phones. In here we've got a charger and another type of charger, so depending on what part of the world you're in we got this type of plug or this type of plug, so we got that covered. And then comes the big box inside the box with the usual manual here with the instruction you need to get familiar with the operating system and the Z10 handset. There's also this battery, pretty slim battery and small battery, actually with a pretty good capacity considering its size. This is a um, battery with a capacity of uh, 1800 mAh lithium ion promises 312 hours of standby. And also inside this small box we've got a pair of headphones. Frankly speaking they don't look that elegant to me but I will only judge them by the power of output. And we also have the USB cable right here. Hopefully the connection to the PC will be fast and smooth unlike some Android devices that I have problems with including the HTC One. So once again instructions and manuals to play with for this handset. So let's power it up, see what the BlackBerry 10 OS looks like. Frankly speaking this is my first contact with BlackBerry 10 OS. So be gentle with me and my possible mistakes. This is the inside of the device and now let's put the battery in. Here we go. Easy to remove the back cover, always a plus. Nice texture at the back this logo right here, so we got the on-off button at the top, pressing it. And here we are, the first boot of the device. So as I said, 9mm in thickness and a weight of 137.5 grams. The display is a 4.2 inch resolution 768 by 1280 pixels. We have a micro SD card slot, 16 gig of storage, 2 gig of RAM and HSDPA connectivity with a speed of 21 megabytes per second. We also have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 4.0, NFC, micro USB 2.0 and as you just saw the back lid doesn't always snap shut so you may want to press it to make sure it's totally closed. Continuing the specs list at the back we have an 8 megapixel camera right here with autofocus and LED flash. We got geotagging, face detection, stabilization and 1080p 30 frames per second video capture. Up front we have a 2 megapixel camera right here and the CPU inside this handset is a dual core Qualcomm Snapdragon 1.5 GHz. Okay, this is the initial setup process and now it will ask me to add a new data connection to continue. Here we go. By the way, this is the virtual keyboard, quite a comfy one. Going to see my password now, but I won't show all of it. And this is the part where I don't show you the rest. Here we go. Connecting to the Wi-Fi. 
Hopefully the initial setup process won't be as long and painful and painful as the one of the Windows Phone devices. If you saw our reviews, you may remember that some of the Windows Phone devices have huge boot times and setup processes that make the unboxing a really lengthy experience. Once again, inside this device we have a dual core Qualcomm Snapdragon 1.5 GHz processor and a GPU that's an Adreno 225. There's also an accelerometer inside, gyroscope, proximity sensor, compass, HDMI port. You can see it right here on the side, the HDMI port, GPS and that lithium ion battery from earlier. Okay, so let's try the connection yet again. And now the part that you can't see. And trying again. We're finally logged in and I can swipe left to continue. This seems to be one of those lengthy processes I was talking about, long initial setup and now the warranty will take a long time to load, I know that because I've seen other unboxings and they had to wait a lot for the warranty information to load. And here we are, of course I agree with the warranty data, I swipe left to skip this one, I will create an account later on and diagnostics are enabled, searching for updates. My first impression is that the screen is rather dim, I was expecting a more bright experience but I think that uh, we'll have to set up the screen in such a way that it will be brighter. Ok, we got a tutorial here to teach us about gestures, as you know probably Blackberry 10 OS is all about gestures, swipe left to continue and while in an app you can touch the top edge of the glass and slide your finger down to see more options like this. Let's continue and you can see that swiping from the top gesture that I just did earlier. To get out of any app you can touch the bottom edge of the glass and slide your finger up like this. Let's continue with the process. It's very interesting that they give us a full tutorial especially since people are used to Android, iOS, Windows Phone and this is a totally new experience for them. Okay, so here we are finally in the BlackBerry Z10 menus. So as you can see we have a grid of applications, much like on iOS. I can say right from the start that the experience of scrolling around doesn't feel as smooth as on Android for example. Here are the settings. And let's see how bright the display can be, one of my curiosities. And this is the top brightness, well that's more like it, maybe a bit too much. And I already figured out part of the multitasking idea. From what I know you can hold up to 8 multitasking screens right here. And I have a curiosity, here's the dialing area, the dialing pad right here, feels a bit antiquated if you ask me and one more multitasking area and now I want to see the camera interface quite simplistic and let's see the options we got normal shooting mode, stabilization and burst pretty cute and here are the multitasking apps that are going on right now in real time and the grid of apps we'll have a lot of fun with the BlackBerry Z10 in the coming days this was the unboxing of the handset BlackBerry Z10 at gsnone.com just unboxed for you and we'll be back in a couple of days for a full review. We'll test the camera, take some shots, play some music for you and also have fun with the video playback on this device. BlackBerry Z10, unboxing at jsnone.com. Bye bye.